there is communication with God. There's only one instance that I know of, and it could be more. It's just this one that comes to mind where an individual was praying, and they were praying, but their lips weren't moving. And that was with Hannah. Hannah was so burdened in her heart when she was praying. But for the believer, that is not the practice. So if you make a practice of... Did you pray? Yeah, I prayed. What did you pray? Well, you know, it was in my thoughts. And, and we buy into that. You know, you're in my thoughts. I don't want to be in your thoughts. I want, I want your words to come out, your thoughts to come out and talk to God about me in a good manner. Amen? You're in my thoughts. Well, you know, there's a whole lot of stuff in your thoughts. Amen? What are you talking to God about? He doesn't want to have to continue to read your thoughts. He wants to hear your mouth. That's why you have a mouth to speak with. And he gives us words to declare and to decree in the earth. Command ye me concerning the works of my hands. The Lord said through the prophet Isaiah. Some will interpret that in a different way, but it's like, it's just too plain. You, you can't paint enough people to make you misunderstand what he's saying. Command ye me concerning the works of my hands. In other words, it's like, I got the power. I can do anything. Nothing is impossible. Command ye me. Don't just come begging. Catherine Kuhlman had an attitude. It was a holy attitude. If people were begging, she would stop begging. Don't beg God for anything. Ask. And when you look it up in the Greek, it means to strictly demand. That's, that's not disrespectful in the kingdom of God. It's an attitude that God wants to develop in us. It's taking us from being the tail to being the head. Amen.